Hello, welcome. Uh, so, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Will Garneau. I'm a medical student at, uh, I'm a second year medical student and one of the organizers for the Bullet Club. Um, we are proud to be, I think, the oldest student organization at the medical school, and it's our pleasure to be involved in tonight's uh, evening with Dr. Peck. Um, so, I, I'm just going to basically invite you to sign in to our guest book, and uh, thank you for coming out tonight. Um, and I'm going to introduce uh, the, the uh, HSL librarian who is really in charge of this event and uh, yield to her. And so, Carol, if you could please come and, come and introduce Dr. Peck. So, thank you for coming and uh, hope to talk to you and enjoy the uh, evening. I'm not really in charge of the event. <laughs> if you knew how many people had worked countless hours to pull this off and make it a great event. And it's just a real pleasure to be able to, to bring together this particular group of people, many of whom are here because they know Sheldon and, and, and want to have a chance to talk with him and renew acquaintances, but also to see as many students who are here from the Bullet Club. And I think that you're going to be in for a really exciting experience. So, uh, and, and members of the faculty and others from the dental school, we're just glad to have all of you here. So I'm really pleased to be able to introduce our speaker, Sheldon Peck. We're here both to recognize and celebrate the receipt by our library of a significant collection of books on orthodontia and dental medicine, over 160 books that have been given to us by Sheldon and his wife, Lena Peck. And to learn from him as a scholar in the history of dentistry and orthodontia, we're really sorry that Lena couldn't be here to celebrate this gift with us, but we send her our best wishes. With his gift, with this gift from Sheldon and Lena, he joins several others that are well known to those of you who are members of the Bullet Club who have also generously supported our library's special collections. And so we're grateful to have him as a part of that club. This gift also helps us celebrate, help to celebrate the opening of the new Curry Oral Health Sciences Building. And we're very honored to have the Dean of the Dental School, Jane Weintraub, and her husband here to join us together. Um, so thank you all for coming. Sheldon's relationship with our library goes back a long way. I'm not exactly sure that I can remember exactly how long, maybe you do. He says that we first reached out to him maybe to get some purchasing advice, but maybe that's a story that you can remind us of. The result of his relationship with our staff, including me, and I've been fortunate to have developed a nice friendship with Sheldon over the last couple of years, I think led him to his decision to give his his notable collection to us, along with an additional gift of $100,000 to maintain and expand that collection well into the future. So. <laughs> while we were working on that, it took a while, <laughs> we mutually agreed to confer on any future purchases that either he or our library would make so that we wouldn't duplicate those purchases because we knew that eventually they would become one collection. And he also, I think, helped us make some purchases at auction. So now with the gift of this collection, I think we have arguably, arguably what is one of the best, if not the best, history of dentistry and orthodontia collections in the country. Some of the prize works in this collection include a 1589 work by Johann Hitt on occult medicine and alchemy, this is one of only five copies in the United States of 16 copies known to exist worldwide. And you can see it here. We have all the editions of the writings of Edward Hartley Angle, considered the founder of modern day orthodontia. And this gives us the most comprehensive collection of Angliana, that right? Angliana in the world. Now, Dr. Peck is an Angle scholar. He has numerous writings on Edward Hartley Angle. He told us earlier today he even has a room in his house that is called the Angle Room, <laughs> where he goes for inspiration and to do his writings. 
So some of these treasures, along with others from our collection, are on display in an exhibit that's down in the first floor in our foyer, and others are here uh, on display in the cases here in this room, and I hope you'll take the opportunity to, to enjoy those while you're here. Sheldon Peck is a prominent orthodontist educator and art collector. He followed his older brother, Harvey, in whose memory this collection is given. In graduating from the UNC School of Dentistry in 1966, and then entered practice in Boston. And he has served on the faculty at Boston University and at Harvard, Harvard's Dental School, and has written widely. Today, it is our good fortune that he also is an adjunct professor of orthodontia here at the dental school. Brings you back to town a couple times a year. Sheldon is also an art collector, and he's on the board of the Ackland Art Museum. And afterwards, I'm sure he can regale you with his, some of his stories of his art collecting escapades, some of which I have heard. He really loves this university. And we're so pleased to be able to recognize him as one of our own and to welcome him here today. Really, one of my favorite things about Sheldon is his genuine enthusiasm and his delight in collecting. And I'm looking forward to having him share some of that passion with us today and, and the talk that he's about to give. And perhaps he will plant some seeds in some of you out there, some future collectors amongst you, if you aren't already. Before I turn the podium over to Sheldon, I want to make just one more little, tell one more short story that connects him to the Lions <coughs> Club. You will find this, I think, as amazing as I did. Ethel Bullitt, who is the great-granddaughter of James Bell Bullitt, after whom this Bullitt History of Medicine Club is named, paid a visit to our library recently, and when we were showing her around, we happened to mention that this lecture was coming up, and she exclaimed that Sheldon Peck had treated her teeth <laughs> <laughs> and her sister, <laughs> given them braces at some years before in the Boston area. And then we thought, well, what a small world. So then we mentioned that story to Sheldon, and he said, well, you know, and he went to his files and pulled out their records <laughs> to confirm that this actually was the case. Now, there's actually more to that story that I won't go into now, but again, perhaps Sheldon can tell you what happened after we reconnected the two of them after many years. But without further ado, please join me in welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. That's a, that was a splendid anecdote, and uh, you're right. I really enjoy being here. It's like home. It is home. Um, I want to start out by thanking the Bullet Club, the Bullet History of Medicine Club, for allowing me this space in their, in their busy season, and maybe this will induce many of you who are here because of your connection with me to come more frequently, even if I'm not here. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's a great tribute to the Health Sciences um, Library and the Health Sciences Division of UNC that there is a history of medicine club, that there is a club that reflects on the past as much as the present and future. So thank you for allowing me to have this time. I want to thank your, you, Carol, and your wonderful staff. Um, I might miss some names, Jake Wilcher, Matt Marvin, Barbara Tysinger. Pam Roberts, uh, for doing all the tremendous work, and I too am extremely impressed with, with what uh, the library has done in exhibiting a couple of dozen of the books downstairs with annotations, uh, with information that even I was unaware of, they ferreted out, <laughs> and in these cases here. You know, I think this is teaching me that whenever I give something to the university, it's uh, not only beneficial to the university, but beneficial to me because you people do the real work to teach me about the things that I've loved finding and collecting. Um, I want to welcome Dean Weintraub and all the wonderful people from 
uh, the UNC School of Dentistry, arguably the best in the world. Let me tell you, I've been at a number of faculties. I say that with authority. <laughs> and uh, the School of Medicine as well. I don't see, is Dean Bondurant here? Okay. Um, but uh, I'm very proud of, of my association with your collective schools, and you should be very proud of your schools as well. Um, and I want to welcome some of my classmates. I'm very proud that you, like I, are still alive, <laughs> can find your way to new places, and are still open to new information. To my friends and, and all of you who share the excitement of the connection of, of old books and medicine. 